The original vision came from the owner, Bill Wilsey, uh, who realised that unlike Dublin and London and other major cities, Belfast didn't have a hotel that the population and citizens were proud of. We make the most of the great room and the atmosphere uh, purely just through service and really good food. People thought some of the things we do wouldn't go down well in Belfast or there wouldn't be a market for it and we've managed to prove quite conclusively that that is not the case. It's the whole package just marrying together and giving the customers that, that wow factor. He realised that gap was available and then took time to find the right building um, to, 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 to place his vision into and uh, ended up with, with what we now sit in, which is the Merchant Hotel. Any building is only a building until you service that building. Um, but because we can apply high-end service in what is a beautiful building, it's, it's uh, allowing us to have a perfect combination. Perfect customer service is, is uh, something that everyone tries to achieve nowadays and customers are more and more demanding of what they want. We created the hallmarks to allow us to give us positive points of attention to detail. And within our hallmarks, of which there are about 30 across the whole, the whole hotel, uh, good examples of that would be that there's a handshake welcome for our, every guest who comes in to, to check in. In our bar we offer water. Um, complimentary with nibbles complimentary with every drink on on every arrival in our bar we also offer a very very high level uh, uh, of service in our turndown which most other hotels don't see the benefit of we do our customers do our customers appreciate it and that's why they keep coming back to us we do take a very broad outlook on, on, on training and in the past six months managers have been sent to the George Sank Hotel in Paris the Ritz Carlton Hotel in New York Within the next few days, we're going on a sales trip to India. That will bring us back certain benchmarking and, and, and ideas that we'll discuss. Those are the types of things we, we, we do do um, on a more global scale to make sure that we're keeping up with uh, industry trends, not just around Belfast, Northern Ireland or the UK, but taking it much further. The food at Ethos of the Merchant is very simple. It's um, very, the very best of local produce that we can find where possible. Um, if it's not the best produce, we'll source it elsewhere. Cooked very simply, simply with passion, with flair, and with um, great attention to detail. The importance of local producers is paramount to the kitchen of the Merchant Hotel. It, it, it's, I, I believe it makes the success of any good kitchen. If we can pull together with uh, some of the best suppliers in Northern Ireland, then we have to do very little to the food. Just we're buying the best of food. It costs a little bit extra, but um, I believe that, that the customers these days will pay a little bit extra for the best quality produce. The branding of the Merchant Hotel was incredibly important to get right. Um, it had to say so much about what we are as an entity, as a business. Um, we've been very lucky in that we've had the opportunity, um, in no small part down to Sean Muldoon, uh, who's our bar manager here at the hotel, in creating some incredible stories that have been supremely important to us in terms of getting the Merchant brand out both nationally and internationally. Obviously the world's most expensive cocktail was a really iconic one, but there have been others since. Um, they, they have been supreme drivers for the PR of the, the Merchant Hotel. I've had literally global inquiries about that from as far afield as, as Hong Kong, Singapore, um, through to Sydney, Australia, and of course uh, locally closer, closer to home too. The merchant's drink offering is seriously important to the hotel. Um, we have a whole flock of international visitors coming to visit our bar and I think it's very important when you're a five-star hotel um, and a world-class bar that you have to have a drink offering that uh, accommodates most tastes. I've been around and I'd seen a lot of different establishments in the years before coming here and I knew exactly what I wanted to do. If I was going to do it, I wanted to work in a world-class hotel bar and I wanted to be given an awful lot of responsibility. Um, having a lot of responsibility is the key to the success. Um, once people stand in your way and create obstructions, it, it, it's impossible to run. So it starts from the top. It's because the guys, the bosses, um, are prepared to take a gamble on me. And, uh, and then one of the things that Bill Woolley said as well was that he wants me to keep taking it to the next level. He never ever wants me to become um, to feel safe, to feel like we've got there, we've achieved it. He wants me to keep achieving and keep achieving and keep achieving so that the competition finds it harder and harder and harder to catch up with you. The Connoisseurs Club was actually originally um, a section of our cocktail list where the customer could upgrade the quality of the cocktail 
depending dependent on the quality of the spirit. But one day our boss and Pedro, the market manager, they sat me down and they said it would be nice to have a club, an actual connoisseur's club for our customers so that they could come along and learn from experts about these spirits and stuff that they were paying for. So the example he used was the master distiller of Bush Mosman to come along uh, for an evening with our guests. So it started off three years ago, um, this October, and uh, the purpose I think it serves to this hotel is that our staff uh, are really motivated and uh, they they're really, really look forward to every new connoisseur's club. And they also make contacts with these people that are doing the seminars and other bartenders that are coming over from, from, from London, for example. They, they make friends with these guys and are able to have relationships with these guys. Um, and the other thing is that it, we're the only hotel in the world, the only bar in the world that is doing such a thing. And the fact that we've been doing it for three years um, is testimony to, to how unique it is um, because there is no other bar or hotel in the world that is doing anything like it. Just recently we've been given a hat-trick of awards at the uh, New Orleans Tales of the Spirit Awards uh, and they are the liquid Oscars, they are the most singular important uh, drinks awards in the industry and we, uh, we're up against the likes of the Georges Cinq in Paris, the Dorchester in London um, and as I say a hat-trick of awards later we'll find that very hard to trump but uh, tremendous achievement and we're really delighted with it. Um, it's not just the bar, we've, we've recently achieved AA five-star status, the only hotel in Belfast to have that. Um, all those things are extremely important in, in giving people an understanding of, of what the, the calibre of what we do here and, and what we're all about. You know, it's a tough environment to work in at times and our staff need to be happy. If our staff aren't happy, then there's very little chance that they're going to provide a, a, a good service to, to our customers. We train them very, very well and we don't expect them to uh, deliver unless they've been trained and have signed off a passport style training scheme that we operate to. So when you first start here, your, your, your passport will say, do you know how to uh, put your uniform on correctly? When they do know how to put the uniform on, they can stamp that little piece of the passport. That progresses right the way up to understanding the, the 1500 bottles of spirit that we have behind our bar. At the Merchant Hotel, we like to think of ourselves as great innovators. We are um, extremely uh, open to ideas. We look out there to see what other people are doing, um, how we can benchmark and improve on uh, what our competitors maybe have locally and also literally across the globe. And um, in, in that process, we've discovered lots of good ideas and, and generated lots of our own fresh ideas. Um, it's important to get the input coming in all the time. Uh, the feedback from the customers is very important. Obviously, um, they're the ones who make or break your business, so you have to you have to look after them very well. I mean, this is very, very important that the customers come in here. It's a beautiful room. We have to make them feel very special. The, the food's only a, a part of that. You know, we have to deliver very good food, but it also has to be served by these guys with very professional service, and and it has to be the whole package. So, really, the customers, what the feedback from the customers is very, very important. We, we, we charge you know, handsomely for the services we offer. And we need to know that what we're offering has been appreciated. And where we go wrong, and we do go wrong, uh, how to fix it. And unless our customers tell us, unless we ask our customers, then we won't know where we're going wrong. Um, we won't be able to redirect our, our budgets, we won't be able to redirect our strategies, we won't be able to redirect our plans, because ultimately we are about customers. And if we forget that, if we ever forget about it, we've, we've lost and we can just close the shop.